Hi, my name's Ian Moyes, and talking about picking your social image, which has been talked about a lot, um, but how many people have listened? How many times today, for example, do I see on LinkedIn, a business platform, LinkedIn pictures that just don't cut it? A picture of someone at their wedding, a picture of someone surfing, or there's a person in the distance, it might be them, it might not be a person holding their beer bottle. Um, you know, what fits for Facebook or with your friends, they know you, they have equity with you, they're not making any prejudgment just from that photo, they've got more context. Think of a visitor to your social profile, that may be a potential customer, someone potentially that might hire you um, to do something personally or individually, um, or even someone that, uh, that might be a potential employer. What perception do you give? And that comes from your whole profile. But the first thing they notice is the profile picture and, of course, the banner uh, there. So, so firstly, make sure you haven't got an empty picture. I'm shocked by how many people still today don't have a profile picture. That's, you know, do you not have a face? Um, you have a face. Be proud of it, no matter uh, what you think. Put it, put it, put yourself out there as a profile picture. And that's the first thing. Secondly, then is how do you select it? And certainly don't do as most do, which is select it themselves. Have a quick look and think I look good in that one. Two, don't ask your friends and family because they're biased. They know you. They see you differently. They've got that context. What you need to do is pick a picture that to the individual who has no context of you, doesn't know who you are, what you do, how good you are, what you do, how professional, all they're seeing is first snapshot image. Same as when you're sat in a bar or restaurant, you see someone move or walk in, you psychologically make a micro decision of the type of person you are. Now, it's the way the human brain works, it's not accusatory, but it can be right, wrong, indifferent. You need to control that perception as greatly as you can to, you, to be positive and to your advantage. So for, certainly pick something that's appropriate. If you're a clown at kids' parties, have a picture of you as a clown because it makes sense because it's what you do. Right? If you're a, a wedding magician, by all means holding playing cards, something that's appropriate. But too many people will have those sort of humorous pictures when their career is totally different. So pick something appropriate, firstly, and then test it. So here, here's tip of the day. Go to a site called photofeeler.com. You can test your picture and see what other people out there think of it without them knowing who you are, what you do, or where you're from. So you can simply put your picture in. People will vote on it. You choose personal site or business, and they will quickly criteria. It's where Facebook originally started in its approach and you'll get your vote and it will give you an aggregate. Run two or three pictures and see which one gets the right results. I did this and when I present and train on that such matters I show the actual pictures and the results. So I had the same photo at one point but one was without glasses and one was with. And it just struck me to try the one with. I, I cosmetically used the one without on my profile. I tried this one and got a much higher result in terms of trustworthiness, etc. So same, same picture, same clothing. How does that work? Now, that doesn't mean for you wearing glasses suddenly will work. It means for my face, that photo, the one with the glasses worked and got me higher results and higher, better first impressions. Test it. You go on Photophilia, you try, you vote on a few other people for free, you get your free votes in return, and you can put your photos on. Get your result, choose a picture, that gives your best first impression. Good luck and go and try it. Thank you.